Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general love reading for the beginning of October. Keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. So for all of the new viewers, I'm an intuitive tarot card reader, which means I read the traditional sense of the card. But more than anything, I'm always going to give you guys the messages that I pick up intuitively. I always charge both of my decks. On top of crystal organite pups and doing so it charges balances and aligns the energy for your reading i also meditate over the collective energy so again this reading is for scorpio sun moon rising and venus individuals and as always i hope everyone is doing well so scorpio i'm going to try to get through your reading without crying okay i'm not a crier i'm a gemini sun. <laughs> i'm a gemini sun towards moon and a virgo rising i'm not a very emotional person per se but the moment that I sat down, to, and I've done three readings prior to doing this one, and I got up, got some water, and the moment that I sat down to do your reading, I heard this song, and I heard the keys play so loud. It's not lyrics in it, but it's um, it's a piano-based song. I'm gonna, you guys know, I always leave the links to the description. I really, 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 really want you guys to listen to this. Um, I will leave the link to the song in the description box below. So I'm going to try to tell you the name of the song, but I, I, I doubt that I'm going to be saying it correct because the song is written... Um, in French, the name of it is Plus Quay My or May, I don't know, Prope Vaille, and it's written by Carter Bunway. Oh, I'm sorry, um, Burnwell, Carter Burnwell. It was on the soundtrack to, um, my god, I can't think of it. Um, what's the one with the vampires with Bella and oh my god, Twilight? It was on Twilight, it was on the soundtrack of Twilight. Um, Eclipse, the one and two. And every time something very reminiscent would come up that that they would play that track. And I was like, okay, I, I know I'm going to butcher how this is said in French because, again, it's a French composer or, you know, it's, that's the name of it, is written in French. So I Googled it and I'm like, okay, let me see what, the, what it means in English. And in English, it is more than my own life. So... The message that I'm picking up is that a lot of you guys have given up on, I said I wasn't going to cry. Okay, give me a second. A lot of you guys have given up on a particular person because you feel as though it's not going to go anywhere and you feel like um, you've just pushed and pushed to be in this relationship or try to make things work. And it's not working out in your favor, but I keep, I kept getting in the pre-shuffle, the full card, taking a leap of faith into something new is what the full card is all about. But more than anything, the card is so magical. Like literally in the card, he's reaching his hand out and he's reaching towards the cosmos, towards the sky. And you know how they say the sky is the limit. The sky is not the limit. The limits are infinite. There are no limits when it comes to love and things like that. So what I really feel like is that you guys are going through a very trying and difficult time when it comes to love and relationships, especially this particular relationship. But I really strongly feel like I heard the saying, don't give up right before the final hour. A lot of you guys, if you resonate with the twin flame journey, this is your twin flame. And this is why it has been so difficult. OK, and, and I'm telling you that because I know a lot of people don't resonate with that. But for a great deal of y'all, this this is someone who is destined to be on your path long term, your life partner. And it's very difficult because you guys are mirroring each other. You guys are teaching each other lessons with or without each other. I feel like there's a lot of back and forth, breakup to makeups. It's a very powerful thing. Just the title itself more than my is literally more than my own life. Like this person, you two love each other so much that it's almost hard to put into words. And it's so painful, the separations, the breakups, the makeups, even the things that you guys are separating over is sometimes not even the biggest of things. It's like this runner and chaser phase with you and this person. It's just, the energy is very powerful. I will say that to say the least. So let's see what we get for you today, okay? As we part the deck, I'm going to change the... You guys heard, of, I just, you got the six of cups. And then the Queen of Wands, look at how she's looking. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus. And you have that black cat there. That black cat always denotes mysticism, mystery, secrecy. It's making me think about the song again more than my own life. Please listen to the song. 
It is such a beautiful melody. And leave comments in the description box. I'm telling you guys, I can't make this up. As I was parting the deck, literally just to change the card at the bottom, these two flipped out. These two are the only ones that flipped out on the table. Nothing else, nothing more, okay? This is like, this is, this is beyond me, okay? So the Six of Cups, you guys know what the Six of Cups is about. This is about past life soulmate this lifetime this is someone that you have very fond memories of this is also a reconciliation coming back together somebody's going to come in very passionately and i feel like it very much so has to do with a fire sign again leo says aries sun moon rising venus if not this person can be coming back in during a fiery season and the next fiery season of this year is sagittarius okay you two could have possibly lived six lives with each other. You two could have known each other for six plus years. You could have separated six days, six weeks, or six months ago. There's going to be a reconciliation, okay? Let's part the clarifying deck. That just really just did it for me. <laughs> okay, so as always, you guys know there are absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So if I get any reversals, I will read it as such, okay? So now at the bottom of your general energy deck, you have the two of pentacles, you know, juggling. Being uncertain and unsure about what it is you're going to do moving forward. Because there's a lot of confusion. But what I want you to also pay attention to right here. You see these pinnacles that she's juggling in? It's an infinity symbol. You two have gone through many cycles together. Many cycles together. Many unending cycles together. And I feel like in this lifetime it's not going to be any different. You would know if this resonates with you, but for somebody, for a great deal of y'all, if you're watching this, this resonates, especially with that six of cups flipping out. This is someone that you can't deny even if you want to. I, I'm hearing that some of y'all have are like, I don't know why I can't stop loving this person. You guys are feeling this person intensely, deeply, powerfully. And if you feel like this person isn't thinking that, they are thinking it also, even if they're not speaking on it. They are in their mind juggling about how it is they're going to reconnect with you. Okay? How to make this stable. Because Pentacles is talking about stability. Pentacles always talk about stability, the foundation, traditionalism. This person is juggling with how to keep themselves grounded. Because it's also grounding yourself. The earth. Pentacles is earth. Okay? As we part the deck, you guys could, like I said, you guys could always go through this back and forth. Tug of war. You know? Just arguing about minuscule things. I feel like, you know, you got fire right here, right? So you got Leo Sage Aries, and then you have Aries right here with the Major Arcana, the Emperor. This person could be very stoic, standoffish. A lot of you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Look at that. And then you got the Sun card, the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot. I'm even hearing now star-crossed lovers. Like the two of you all have, I'm telling you, you have had many incarnations. If you don't believe in things like this, go ahead and log off now because I'm telling you what messages I'm picking up. You've had many incarnations with this person. In this lifetime, I feel like with the sun card, the most positive card in the whole deck of tarot, you see how these two children's hands are conjoined. Like you are coming into connection with this person to build. Look at these cards. So I feel like somebody could definitely be a fire sign, specifically Aries or Leo. You got Aries and both Leo, major iconics for both. And um, it's literally energy that this person could be a little controlling, domineering, always want to have their way. You know, and I feel like that may be what that tug of war is about. Let me see. Well, I don't see. I put it down. But that could be what that tug of war is about. But long term, there's going to be some building together. The two of you all have some work to do together, okay? Next card I see, absolutely. And I just said star cross lovers, okay? You got the star card, Major Arcana. This is also the card of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If, if it's Aquarius in their chart, it could be the moon because you have this moon behind her. They could be an Aquarius moon individual. But more than anything, that's wish fulfillment and healing. This person is your wish fulfillment, okay? The next card I see poking out, the justice card. We are currently in the time of Libra right now. It's Libra season. The justice is Libra. I feel like there's going to be a coming back together. But right now, there could definitely be a separation between the two of you all, okay? Because at the very back of the deck, the only card that's really sticking out for us to look at is the three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, grief, sadness. This even makes me think about that song, Okay? That I'm telling you to listen to. Please listen to the song. Please listen to the song. You, I, I'm really hearing like when you listen to that song, it's going to activate something within you. And it's like almost like an activation code where you will start to realize the connection that you and this person have. This is a deep reading. It's very powerful. The, I can see why you would feel like this. Because the energy that I'm picking up is like you two have searched for each other for so long. And it's something that's interfering. What card comes before this? 
something that's interfering with your happiness. Your happily ever after. You know, something that's interfering with that. Look at that. You two could be at a distance from each other. And now, as I'm picking up these cards, I'm just picking up cards from the back of the deck, right? The world card, a distance, a physical distance, also an emotional distance. Because right behind it, you have cups. That's always about the feelings and emotions. So the two of you could also be a different nationality. But more than anything, I feel like there could be a physical distance between you and this person right now. At the bottom of your um, clarifying deck, you have the page of wands. So again, a lot of you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Okay, you guys could have had major hurdles that you had to get over. You got one, two, three mountains in the background. Mountains and cars always talk about challenges, things that are difficult that you have to get over. But if you look at it, he's looking at the very tip of this wand and he's looking at these leaves blossom and bud. Like there's growth, potential growth in the future for the two of you all. And keep in mind, pages always talk about communication. So I feel like this person, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, this person is coming in with some type of communication. They're going to reach out to you. And if they're not a fire sign, again, I feel like during Sag season, they're going to reach out to you. As we part the deck, the first card that I see poking out is Major Arcana, the High Priestess. So you could be dealing with someone whose first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, or C. Also, there could be a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or a Gemini. Because even though this is two in um, Roman numeral two, it does look like the Gemini symbol. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual also. This person wants to build with you. They want to come back together. Now, typically, I tend to see this as a third party, right? But I feel like this third party is spirit. I feel like this is like a, a spirit guide or a guardian, somebody who's leading the two of you back together. Because if you look at it like dogs, right? When dogs are, when there's somebody around who can't be trusted, they get the barking and acting crazy. These, balls, these dogs are calm and submissive and they're just looking at him. As if, you know, there's, there's no threat. So I feel like you guys have a spirit guide who's trying to bring you and this person back together. Also, you know, you could have a child with this person or someone could be getting ready to have a child. Because this is the Ten of Pentacles. We are in the 10th month of the year. So you could have an October child or also you could be finding out that you're pregnant. Especially if you two reconcile, you could be finding out that you're going to become pregnant in October. Okay. The next card that I see sticking out. Yeah, strength card again. More Leo energy. So some of you guys definitely are dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But more than anything with this card, some of you guys are needing to have the strength to speak your peace in regards to a situation. Also, if it's not you and you're dealing with Leo specifically, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, they may, they may need to speak their peace about some something that's keeping the two of you separate. And this looks like an angel. Again, just like that Ten of Pentacles, I feel like somebody's spirit guide, a guardian is going to be like grabbing them. Like, you need to speak out before you lose this person. Let this person know how you feel. The very next card, you have the t the page. Of pa a lot of communication. Page is all about communication. Coming in and delivering a message. Page of Pentacles. Okay? Some of you guys can have an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And they're coming in with some type of communication. I don't feel like this is anyone new. Especially when we seeing that Six of Cups fall out. Mm -mm. This is someone that you all know. You all have history with this individual. Okay? As we part the deck so I can shuffle... Someone is holding on to you for dear life. You know, they're in their head about it. They're holding on for you to you for dear life. This eight of pentacles, not eight of pentacles, but you see how this looks like an eight, but it's the infinity symbol. They've been holding on for you, for you and to you. A lot of you guys is going to be an earth or a fire sign, or it could be a fire sign with strong earth sign placements, vice versa. Communication is definitely coming in. Eight of wands, fast moving, um, fast moving communication. Something that's coming out of the blue. And remember, we just had that page of wands. So I feel like there's going to be someone with strong fire sign placement who's going to be coming in with a message. No longer being in their head juggling about how they're going to communicate with you. I feel like they're just going to do it. I don't feel like they're able to hold back any longer. And if you have the fire sign placement in your chart, I'm telling you, yeah, just seeing the ace of swords. You need to go ahead and do it and communicate because there's an the energy of this person possibly leaving. You have the six of swords in reverse. So it's like they're, they were thinking about leaving at one point or they could have left at one point, but they're returning back to you. But somebody's somebody's shutting down communication. Somebody's scared or fearful about communicating how they feel. Okay, just seeing the moon. If you don't do it, you're going to lose this person. They're going to move away. And that's six of swords. We are in a swords energy right now. We are in Libra season. That is swords. So you can lose this person for good. 
again, fire sign, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is typically Playboy, Playgirl, and Tarot, but I feel like the energy I'm picking up, and look at the bottom of the deck, you got the Strength card in reverse. Again, fire, Leo, 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 um, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I feel like strongly somebody's going to find the strength. But it's like, you see how he's head to an arm and his face shield is down, which means he's hiding something. This person's going to find a strength to come in quickly, very quickly and say something, very quickly and passionately. But I feel like they may not have the strength because it's in reverse to tell you exactly how they feel. And I feel like it's just like this, the energy that I picked up with the song, like, they love you more than, more than life. They love you more than anything that they can explain, but they just don't. It's something about wanting to be guarded. This person is guarded. Head to toe and armor. This person's guarded. And I kept saying fiery. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Look at that. They want to work on this situation with you. You got the eight of pentacles. And remember, I was just looking at that. And then a ten of wands. This It's been heavy for them to carry this burden of how they feel about you. I feel like the burden is that they want to come back in and work with you. Okay? We are in the tenth month again. And you have the ten of wands. I'm telling you, this person is going to come in and tell you that they want to work on this situation with you. But it's something about this person's ego. They, it has to be with their ego. Because they wouldn't have these shields on. They wouldn't have these, they wouldn't be guarded like this. And as I said at the time of 1622, so anytime you see mirroring numbers, you know, with double digits of the same number, that's confirmation that the message is on point. This person wants to work with you, but they're very guarded. This person is very guarded. I'm going to hold the deck down to get an additional message for you. Look at this. record. You guys seen me part of this randomly. Reconciliation. Look at that. Ego. I just said this. With this shield, with them being head to toe in armor, even with the armor down on their face, the helmet down, the face shield down on their face, this person is succumbing to their ego, the devil. Ego, ego, ego. Okay? But they want reconciliation with you. They want to work on the situation with you. Most definitely. Yeah. They want to work on this with you, but as a part of the deck, you got the Four of Pentacles. Again, they're not letting you go. They think about you constantly. You're on their mind. You're in their heart. They want to set a foundation with you. They're fighting it. Somebody is fighting it. And I, what I'm picking up is this is something with karma. Like, this is something, this is the energy that you guys have brought back from past life or something that happened. This person is guarded towards you because something that happened in a past life, some type of karmic because with the devil, that's karma also. You know, that's a karmic, a heavy karmic relationship, karmic energy as well. At the bottom of the deck, you got a king of pentacles. A great deal of you are dealing with a fire or earth sign, okay? Leo says Aries, someone rising Venus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone rising Venus, or someone with a combination of fire and earth in their chart predominantly. And that's really what I'm picking up. Because these, to me, are feeling like the same person. Doesn't look like it, but the energy, just energetically, it feels like the same person. I don't feel like they can fight this any longer. They're going to come back towards you. They're going to come back towards you quickly. Look what I say. The moon card. Thanks. Look at that. And then right up under that, you got the eight of cups in reverse. Not being able to walk away, but then you have the moon in both of these cards, right? The moon card is about things hidden, things unknown, things we don't have clarity about. What's being, and, and this is very telltale, okay? Look at this. He's hiding his identity. He's hiding how he truly feels. And I know it's about feelings because the moon talks about the emotions, the feelings. This person is hiding how they truly feel. You or your person are hiding what you truly feel. Also, the moon, I'm hearing like you two have loved each other for many moons. This is like so damn poetic. And what's interesting is you have the eight of pentacles on the table and then you have the eight of cups. And wasn't we just looking at that two of pentacles juggling that eight, the infinity symbol? You two have literally... Loved each other for many, many moons. This is crazy. Look at that. Okay. You got the Eight of Pentacles. You got the Eight of Cups. Then you got the Eight of Wands upright. All of this Eight energy, you literally have... This is... and I, Eight. Literally, if you turn it sideways, an Eight sideways looks like the Infinity Symbol. I'm telling you, you got... This, is, this person is meant to be in your life long term, lifelong. But it's something about the... Oh my God. Look at the bottom of the deck. You guys heard I was not shuffling anything. Infinity symbol. Again, you two are meant to be together and you're fighting it. It's something that you guys have brought back from your past lives. If you don't believe in past lives, again, you don't want to listen to this because this is exactly what it is. You guys have traveled many moons together. May even have been together during a time like that medieval times or whatever. 
something happened that really has the two of you fearing. I feel like you both are sabotaging this fearing coming together. And every time you two get close, something brings you two apart. Some weird argument. Some Something that's not even worth separating the two of you all. This is very... Very disheartening to see because the the energy that I'm feeling here, I've never cried or felt very emotional when I've done general readings, but this has this has very much so touched me. Look at that. Five of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups upright is about crying, sorrow, grief, sadness. And you know, it's an energy of like looking at something that was lost. Somebody could have possibly accused someone of a third party that could have possibly been third party. But if you look at it, Behind him, two cups stand. The two of cups is their soulmates, a couple, a union. It's coming up in reverse. So there's no sorrow, sadness, and grief because there's going to be a working on the situation between the two of y'all. But it's 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 going to take actual work. Eight of Pentacles. It's going to take work. Okay. And I feel like the the biggest amount of work, you know, you have your both of your clarifiers are watery energies. Okay. It's going to take work on these emotions. Both of you guys are hiding. Your emotions, how you truly feel for one another, one another. And it, that can't happen. In order for you guys to have this relationship, that can't happen. At the bottom of the deck, you got this three again. So you got the three of cups right here. One, two, three. Spilt over and then you got three of wands. So it's giving me an energy that, you know, something. You could have met this person in March. Someone's birthday could be in March. There definitely could have been a separation because of third party. Honestly. Honestly, I feel like the third party is this hiding. Because look right here, you got one, two, three. They're not humans, but you got three beings right here. What's being hidden because it's emotions. You guys are hiding your emotions from each other, your feelings from each other. Even this moon looks like he's in grief. You know what I mean? There's a lot of hiding from one another, and it has to end. It has to end, but I feel like you guys are coming out of that because you have the five of cups in reverse, which is positive. But you also have the moon upright. So neither one of you are truthfully speaking about how you feel about one another. And this even this makes me think about the damn, you know, the song. Please listen to that song. Again, I will leave it in the description box below. Please listen to the song. Very nostalgic. Very touching energy. I feel like the song will put you in this energy because you're going to realize what you two are pushing away from each other. You're denying each other this happiness that you, you can't have. That's what I'm picking up. Okay? So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.